Would you believe me if I told you that the ultimate skin diver under $1,000 is actually not found in Switzerland nor in Singapore in one of those micro brands, but rather in Thailand? This is the Weiss Adamascus. This video is brought to you by Weiss Time Pieces. The Adamascus model we have for review has the AD81A serial and comes in at 41mm in diameter, 47.7mm lug to lug distance, and 20mm of lug width. The thickness is really desirable at 11.5mm with a water resistance that is 200m. This skin diver uses some beautiful materials such as 904L steel, ceramic insert, and leather strap. There is an optional rubber strap that comes in a box. Inside is the Miyota 9015 caliber that has a 28,800 BPH, 42 hours of power reserve, and hacking seconds hand. Holding this skin diver feels like discovering a pearl of exquisite quality. It has all the right proportions and level of finishing found on dive watches 2, 3, or even 10 times its price. It looks very streamlined because of the chamfers both at the top and bottom side of the case. This one has an exhibition case back that's rare for Wise and is a welcome treat in this model. This slimmed out Adamascus feels like a watch under 40mm on the wrist. Despite its 41mm diameter, the guardless crown and tapering lugs provides the diminutive proportions. That thin case also makes a smaller imprint that many enthusiasts love. Operation is a breeze. With the crown having enough material to grab onto, unscrewing and winding it comes off as natural as can be. The first satisfying pop positions the crown for date setting, and the second step is for setting the time. While the crown takes a little work, the bezel however comes off as a bit of a workout. I love how the bezel sounds. However, the bezel itself feels a little too tight and it takes a little bit more force to turn. With that aside, the Weiss Adamascus is a beautiful package with excellent execution. Speaking of packages, the wooden box that the watch came in has a touch of organic elegance. It can double as a display case for your mantle and comes with all you need to switch up the look of your Adamascus. It comes with another set of very soft, high-grade FKM strap that can quickly swap out because of the quick-release spring bars. This model comes with a black leather strap and black FKM rubber. While the other models have a little more color variety, I feel that these two have tones that are very similar. But color preference out of the way, both have great textures. This rubber strap is very comfy on the skin, with the buckle matching the case nicely. Right off the box, the Adamascus is already pretty awesome, but with some strap options, there's much more enjoyment to be had. Skin divers are known as some of the most versatile watches. With social media exposing more people to watch styles, the perception of how vintage divers should look like continues to gain more eyes. This vintage-looking watch benefits also by association with nostalgic timepieces. Having a black dial and bezel on this compact dimension opens it up to mimic other popular styles. The Hoyer Altavia is one such memorable watch, and with this perforated strap, the Adamascus certainly comes close. However, this might be the least desirable of the bunch we have on the table, because who would want to have a racing strap on a water-loving watch? It's a little harder to suspend your belief. Slapping on a sail cloth strap should be more logical. This sail cloth from the channel staple Artem gives this at Damascus its well-deserved due, with white stitches referencing the white indexes and hands, much like a 50 fathoms. A variant of this strap with black stitching also works well to drastically change its personality. Now, this has a similar silhouette with the original Seiko divers, just a lot more shinier and, well, you know, it costs a lot less to own. It also helps that Artem buckles are well finished to match the brilliant case of the watch. Matching hardware is even more relevant when there's more of them to pair up with. The Adamascus case is predominantly polished that it practically demands to have polished ring keepers. This means that it may not work well with matte or unpolished keepers. 
Happily, this one has the luster to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this wise timepiece. The orange pinstripe stripe gives this a dash of spice to an otherwise rustic combination. But going back to the familiar combos, we can skip the colorful palette and go back to the chromatic but stylish configuration. This dual gray striped NATO, associated with James Bond's Spectre Seamaster, works well enough to attract attention. But as the light hits the dial in a certain angle, the similarities fade along with the shadows. Also, worth noting that the streamlined profile further helps the NATO strap to hug the curves of your wrist. Finally, let's try and put this watch on a well-chamfered bracelet. This one from the Zelos Spearfish fits the bill as it has the snug curved end links and the hardened steel finish. Wise doesn't currently offer any bracelet option for the Adamascus, and if anything, this proof of concept could be a ringing endorsement. There's more we can enjoy as we examine the case more closely. This is what makes the Adamascus the ultimate skin diver, at least in my book. The Adamascus uses 904L steel which gives it more corrosion resistance and has a noticeably brighter luster. All of the polished chamfers just liquefies light across the fantastic case. It's a given that this is a dust and print magnet, but that's something most owners will be willing to put up with. 904L steel, familiar for a reason, is popularized by Rolex as their go-to steel for their sports and professional models. Lovely details are present from all sides of this watch, like the decently decorated movement, the highly reflective bevels and split coin edge bezel grips, and that glistening bezel insert with heavily textured dial. The pattern on this dial is nothing I've ever seen before and it's surprisingly dormant on many angles. As light fell over these angular grooves, the texture springs to life in tandem with the faceted indexes. I was initially critical of this seemingly convoluted dial, but to the unfiltered eye, it functions as a funky sunburst surface. As a signature of Wise, the loom is exceptionally bright and long-lasting. A special blend of BGW9 Super Luminoba is applied by the brand. It's very rare to see a watch outside Rolex collection to use 904L steel. So let's leave the table for a moment and let's put this diver to work. We compare this against the Wise Hitman, yes, that's the model name, and there's a clear disparity of refinement. It's really a different class within the brand's offerings. It's clear that it could stand on its own, but against the iconic standard of 904L steel, the Submariner, will it have a fighting chance? Well, as refined as the Adamascus is, it's still not as sharp as the Sub. It does have the same vibrancy. But one may wonder if the gap between the two is justifiably eight grand in retail. But if you can't drop thousands on the 904L steel diver, for a few hundreds, you can enjoy an Adamascus. Value noted, the build quality is well above the competing brands both in the micro and macro brand categories. It performed well as it was advertised. No gaskets were harmed during the filming of this video. Straps were changed in real-world conditions. The Wise Adamascus proved to be more than its blend of steel, but it rises above the rest with its brilliant proposition. It has all of the good stuff in spades. It has that desirable proportions, that amazing 904L steel, and that gorgeous and beautiful finishing. The Adamascus from Wise is truly the ultimate skin diver under $1,000. Good? How many takes did it take? Seven takes? I really need a script. <laughs>